Hi, I'm Don Jordan, founder of the Sandhandle Workshops here at Okaloosa Choice Technical Center. And I want to welcome the internet audience as well as our studio audience and especially our guest, our feature speaker today, Marianne Makakao, and uh, the author and publisher of the Little Pink Book series. Marianne, thank you for, for dropping by. Thank you, Don. We have a lot of questions for you today. And I'd like to start actually by running the video promo that you have on your website. So okay, can we drop great. the room Thank lights you. and get that rolling? When my friend of 25 years called to say she had breast cancer, her first concern was, how will I tell my students? I searched for the perfect book, and when I couldn't find it, I heard my pastor's words. If you see something missing, maybe God's telling you to do it. Those words inspired me to write the book myself. When Your Teacher Has Cancer was intended as a gift for a friend. But the gift didn't stop there. As Request poured in to publish the title, requests for more Little Pink books came for every role women hold in children's lives. Now, with numerous titles on the market, including Spanish translations, multiple book tours, and an online presence, I watch children and adults discover the hope inside these Little Pink books. Schools, churches, camps, libraries, cancer centers, conferences, awareness events, the list grows daily. To me, writing isn't just about creating a story, it's about making a difference in others' lives. Well, Marianne, I think the first question is, what was the main thing that brought you to writing the Little Pink Book series? I, I think the writing was coming for a long time. The subject changed overnight, virtually. I, I came to writing many, many years ago, writing things that be, were sort of a closet collection and thinking about writing to publish, but never quite getting there. Let life take events take over, uh, obligations to work in the, in the field of psychology. And then when I finally stopped doing that to write part-time and take up the, the aspect of writing as a career, I received a phone call from a friend who was diagnosed with cancer, and it, it was uh, a book she needed to get into her classroom, and that started the Little Pink Book series. To turn off the critic in your head and just write. No work done the first time is ever the finished product. There are many drafts, and even after you've published it, you'll pick it up and read it and think that you could have done a little better here or a little better there. Your better judgment is your audience. How are they receiving it? Is it well received? Are you getting fan mail? Are you getting things that indicate your sales are there? Write because you love it first and then everything else follows. The first step in everything is research. I, I come from a very solid background in psychology of research, and I suppose it follows forward in the writing, but I think it's clear for anyone taking anything new on that you need to spend the time researching what's there, what are your tools available to you, what are the best choices given the information that you're able to find. Never stop. <laughs> And I don't mean to go incessantly that you don't take a break for life. I mean that you're never done marketing. And whether you're going with a traditional publisher or you're going self-publishing route, the marketing is going to belong to you. And you get to a point where you have so many different directions that you could go that it could be stifling. What I do is keep a list of all the directions and then decide that particular segment of time that I have which one am I going to hit? You're, you're always going to have ongoing lists if you're doing the work. If you're really marketing, there's a continual list and there's continual growth. And there shouldn't be an end of story. It, it should be a learning process that continues and takes you different directions. It's just continuing it and, and not burning out, employing the right tools, the right people to be helping you, the right experts, and then going forward. I nourish myself first by having faith. Uh, my prayer life is solid, and I couldn't get by without it. I nourish myself through my family. They're a great support for me. I have a great circle of cheerleaders, friends. Um, when everything's over, you don't see people saying, I wish I'd worked harder. You, say, you hear them saying, I wish I'd spent more time in my relationships. Relationships come first. That's the number one way I nourish myself, and the second way is that your body, in my opinion, is a gift, 
and I take care of that by eating well and swimming laps and um, sharing what I've done with others to pass on the gift. Well, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. Marianne. It's been a blessing. And thank thank you. you again for participating in this workshop, Publish and Promote Your Writing with Marianne Makakao. Thank <laughs> you.